Hello, this is Tom Litchfield of RBMG. In this video, I will provide a brief overview of the Google Online Calendar. I will cover how to navigate the calendar and demonstrate how to manage events. Now first, when you sign in to Google Calendar, you will be taken to the page that you see here on my screen. This is the default calendar view for the current month. To view different months, you may use these arrow buttons here in the top left of the calendar. The left arrow takes you back to past months, while the right arrow shows future months. You may also change the monthly view to a weekly view if you like. To do that, you use these view buttons on the top right of the calendar. To change to a weekly view, simply click the week button. There is a four day outlook, which shows the next four days starting from today. And there's the agenda view, which gives you a nice list of all the events in the calendar in date order. This is particularly nice for printing a list of events. Let's go back to the monthly view. Now within this calendar are some sample events that I have entered for this demonstration. This particular calendar has been set up to list events by group with each group having its own color. You can see the list of groups by color here on the left of the calendar. You may use this list to hide and show events for each group. For example, if you only want to view events for IACHR, you may hide other groups by clicking them in the list. Now we are looking at events only for IACHR. This is very handy if you just want to see events for one or two groups at a time. When a group's events are not showing in the calendar, the button in the list will display colorless. You may click again on the label to show that group's events on the calendar. In the calendar, when you see an event spanning more than one day, such as this one, it means it's a multi-day event. To display an event's details, click once anywhere in the colored portion of an event. A pop-up box will display some of the event details. Here we are shown the beginning and end dates, the location for this event, and who created it. If there is a location provided, Google automatically provides a map and driving directions. To view all the details for an event, click the Edit Event Details link here in the bottom of the pop-up box. As the text link implies, this is what you would click if you wanted to update an event. On the Edit Event page, you may make a number of changes to the event, such as changing the dates and times, assigning the event to a different group, adding a description, and over here on the right, you have the option to invite specific people by entering their email address. When you want to change the dates, Clicking in the beginning or ending date boxes will display a calendar for selecting dates. Let's change this one to the 12th and have it end on the 16th. If you would like to specify start and end times for an event, 
uncheck the all day option and this will allow you to enter beginning and end times. When you are finished editing just click the save button and your edits will be saved and you will be taken back to the main page of the calendar. Now I will show you how to add a new event to the calendar. There are a couple ways to do this but I will demonstrate the quickest and easiest. To add a new event simply click once in the empty area of the day the event begins. An entry box will pop up on the screen. I have some sample events that I will enter for this demonstration. The first one begins on August 19th. So let's go over to August by using the navigation buttons. And I'll click once on the 19th. Now I need to give this event a title. So let's call this the OAS Annual Retreat. Since this is an OAS event, I will assign this to the OAS group. At this point, if this were a single day event and I didn't need to enter more details, I would simply click the Create Event button and I would be done. But instead, I'm going to click the Edit Event Details and enter in more information about this event. Now I am at the Edit Event page. Let's make this a three day event. So I will specify the end date. Let's say this event is taking place in Washington, D.C. So if I'm done editing, I can go ahead and click the Save button. So here's our new event right here. A nice feature is that Google automatically creates a map for the event. If I entered a specific address, the map would show exactly how to get to the event. Let's do one more. This time I'll do one for IACHR. Let's make this a four day event that begins on the 29th. And we'll call this IACHR Conference. And since this is a four day event, I'll need to click Edit Event Details and change the end date. One, two, three, four. And let's make the location Mexico City. Okay, hit save. And here's our new IACHR conference event complete with a map of Mexico City. Now let's talk about printing. The calendar is printable. There is a print button at the top of the calendar towards the right. Click the button and a print window will pop up giving you a preview and some printing options. Clicking this print button down here should send the document to the default printer on your computer. You may also print any of the other views such as daily, weekly, four day outlook, or agenda. Here is what the weekly view would look like if you wanted to print it. So that concludes this video overview of Google Calendar. After watching this, you should be able to navigate the calendar, edit an existing event, add a new event, and print the calendar. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to get in touch with me. The person who shared this video with you can show you how to reach me. I hope this video has been helpful and thank you very much for watching.